First I have to mute, turn on my camera. Everybody okay. good? Now let's get to work. Whiteboard. Real. Show me 10, we're gonna represent 10. Show me 10 with your fingers. Um, St. Clair of Assisi is very similar to a brick and mortar schools with all the different um, programs that students would have in a face-to-face -face settings, but it's done remotely. Initially, we were responding to the pandemic and uh, providing education as a necessity, but now we are called to serve our students, to serve the families, and respond and pivot in such an innovative way that it has helped our students learn and grow, no matter what the circumstance is. We did this art in class, like a race city when we were learning multiplication. And we do gym to move our bodies, which I really, really enjoy. In virtual, the teacher puts us in breakout rooms. So while we're doing our work, we get to talk to each other and ask questions. She's very much uh, become independent in doing her work. Uh, she's able to manage her work herself. It's really amazing to watch how these teachers have created these alternative lesson plans that involve all these different methods and the children are excited by it. And I love that they're excited about learning. I have always wanted to be a teacher. What inspired me was having great teachers growing up in the Halton Catholic District School Board, but also I have always been drawn to education. I've always been drawn to working with children and helping them learn and find their God-given potential. That aha moment of, wow, I can do this. There's a lot of students who sort of thrive in the virtual setting. It is a student who is ready to learn. If they want to learn, um, they're, they're going to, it's going to work for them. So as long as they're committed to the learning that's happening, they're going to be successful. I think virtual school is an incredible option. I enjoy that this, the subjects, as they're the same, but you learn them in a different way. All four kids from my grade two to my grade eight, they have such a, an ability with technology today. I, I honestly believe that it's the virtual school and this platform, this, this way of learning that has given them this edge. We are able to use different tools to support the learner and to meet them where they're at. In fact, the students are always finding ways to teach us too, which I think is pretty cool. We learn science in school and math and reading. Dinosaur. So I'm a stay-at-home mom and uh, I loved the option because I have a, a younger girl at home as well that's not in school yet. I can um, get him ready, comes downstairs, gets online and we're all set. My favorite part of it is that we get those connections with our families. It's like we can form that strong relationship with them. Kids learn through play, they learn through doing. So anything we do, we're always thinking, well, what can they be doing? So they're not just sitting there looking at the screen. Yes. They actually need to be doing. So we, even though we're virtual and we've grown and learned so much, we're still trying to keep kindergarten as that play-based, developmental, hands-on, learn through play. Yeah, to really honor their curiosity, mm -hmm. that their, their time to explore, their time to express yes. freely, and the sense of belonging, of course. So it's really nice that we can do things together, but we're not together. And I find that to be a really powerful thing that even though we are virtual, we can still have this sense of togetherness, um, whether we are at home or in a different space. You know, how do we bring people together that have never met each other, who don't know each other. We have, you know, we have graduation, we have uh, extracurricular activities, we have sports clubs. So we do have our liturgies, we have our Ontario Catholic Graduate Expectation Awards. We, we have, uh, we did a lot of work early on to ensure that all of our parishes were connected. All of the different supports we have, special education teachers, educational assistants, child and youth counselors, etc. Uh, they are able to uh, set up these meetings to meet the various needs of our diverse group of students. It's, it's all been about working collaboratively with parents, with the staff, with resources at the board to uh, find creative ways to meet the needs that were originally met within our brick and mortar uh, schools and provide the same quality Catholic 
education that the HCDSB is known for. It's just so new and mind-blowing, this option, and yet it it's so it's been so fine-tuned that it seems that it's been here forever. It's amazing and I'm super grateful. Ooh.